Peter Marty, you are senior pastor of a 3,400 member church in Davenport, Iowa, and you also happen to be a leading interpreter of American religious life. You are editor publisher of Christian Century Magazine. As minister of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport for the past 26 years, you lead a vibrant place of worship, hospitality, and service. In a vocation and ministry that spans four decades, you've done much to promote healthy pastoral leadership, preaching, and congregational vitality and renewal. You've been affiliated with the Fund for Theological Education, the Louisville Institute's Pastors Working Group, and the Duke Project for the Study of Ministry. You hosted the national radio series Grace Matters, and you're the author of the Anatomy of Grace, which speaks to everyday moments of divine generosity in personal or congregational life. No surprise, in 2010, you were named Parish Pastor of the Year by Academy of Parish Clergy. Not least, you also lead the Christian Century, a flagship publication that has bolstered the national conversation about religious faith and public life for more than a century. It's no coincidence that your heart for congregations would nurture your leadership at the century. Throughout these years, this remarkable combination, your congregational work, your editorial diligence, your love for the people of God, has been mutually enriching and created a historic life of ministry. Your lead column in each issue of the century provides a deft pastoral comment on the latest public crisis or trend, as well as a welcome Christian social witness that is open and forward-looking, not closed or fearful. There you recently wrote on questions of neuroscience, rationalism, and belief, saying, in the realm of faith, we know much more than our mind or intellect can tell us. We know that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities are able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. It's not deductive reasoning that gives us this knowledge. It's faith tied to love. At the heart of YDS is the commitment to train women and men for the lay and ordained ministries of the church. The award for distinction in congregational ministry annually goes to an individual who has shown exceptional pastoral competence in the work of the mission of local congregations. This year, we are glad to honor the Reverend Peter Marty. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Um, I don't know whether I deserve this award or not, because I feel like the vetting committee should be my colleagues first in the parish. But I, uh, to come back to this place that I first stepped into 40 years ago, it, um, it gives me the opportunity to uh, recognize where my love for parish ministry and public theology was born. Um, Pretty much every, every several months for the last 40 years, there comes a time in the, uh, at the end of a day when I walk into the kitchen and Susan and I are, are discussing the day and I say, you know, I just can't believe what I received from Yale. I can't believe what I got from Yale Divinity. And, and then there's this enormous sense of, of gratitude that just kind of welled up and I get these watery eyes and I realize this is where my foundation for all these expressions of ministry came from, you know? The, the rich learning, the gifted minds that we were around, the, 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 the literature we covered, 
the encouragement to, you know, think critically and, and expansively. There just was nothing like it, you know, for me. And I was privileged, as were many of you, to be schooled in an era when residential life was sort of the norm and it was prized. And as far as I was concerned, because it was day and night, you got five years into the three years that you actually paid <laughs> tuition for, you know. Um, I was in a class one time with Reverend Childs, Old Testament, of course. I still remember the room. I don't know what it is today. I still remember my desk by the window. I don't remember any of the contents of his lecture <laughs> on Isaiah. But there was a line that I wrote down and it has guided me for all of my years. He said that day, if you want to become a better preacher, become a deeper person. And when I eventually entered parish ministry, I retranslated that and I said, if you want to become a better pastor, become a deeper person. And I'm just convinced that to do excellent ministry and to be available to people in the ways that they need you to be available for them, well, you gotta have a moral center and a depth of character and congruity of what you're thinking about and what you're living that somehow works. And, uh, you know, a moral compass. And most of us think of Yale Divinity as a place of the mind where you just learn this fantastic stuff. But it's also a place of the heart. And um, I got that child's uh, idea in my head from so many different people. And so I've been spending my life cultivating um, all that it might take to try and become a deeper person. So from the top of my mind, when thoughts come, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, to the bottom of my heart, I have Yale Divinity to thank. And for the rest of my years, I join many of you, I'm going to do everything I can from the bottom of my heart to support this place. So thank you very much. Thank you.